Hi everyone, thank you for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you the technique I use to get this bold wing liner on hooded eyes. When doing wing liner, I find it's always best if you have a mirror at a distance for reference because sometimes you actually see more from further away than close up. Also, I will mention up front, things are going to look a little bit weird along the way, but stick with me because it's definitely worth it. First, we're going to start out with a really simple technique to help get an even wing. I'm taking the end of a brush and measuring from my nostril to the outer corner of my eye and marking it with my angled brush where I'm going to be putting my line. Then, starting at my lower lash line, I'm extending the line up to connect to where I have marked. I'm also stretching my eye taut so that I can draw the line with as little as drag as possible. Sorry girls, but as you get older, those eyelids get looser. Cherish not having to do this while you still can. Another thing you'll notice is I stop and check frequently along the way. Winged eyeliner scares so many people because it's notoriously difficult to get it even and possibly even more so for us hooded ladies. But believe me, patience is your friend and don't forget, mistakes can be fixed easily, so just keep going with it. Next, I've picked up the silicone tipped eyeliner applicator because I'm trying really hard to like it, but I'm still on the fence. And I'm just lining my upper lash line. I tend to start at the inner corner to gauge my thickness and then move on to the outer corner and meet back up with that line. back to my angled brush because ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm just drawing a medium kind of thickness to that line. We don't want to go overboard because the wing is the part where it's going to be thick and dramatic. So we're trying to still see some lid on the inner corner of the eye while it's open. Now comes the trick. You want to open your eyes and look ahead normally so that you can see exactly where the hood of your eye sits naturally. Then taking your brush, mark where you want your wing to meet. So basically you're creating a wedge on top of the hood. This is also where you can decide how thick you want that wing to be. This is where it tends to veer away from the standard eyeliner application because when you have hooded eyes, the skin tends to cut the tail of the liner and not give you that smooth transition to the point. So keeping your eyes open to map it out is going to eliminate any surprises, like when you've drawn the perfect wing and then you open your eyes only to find out that it's all cut off by your hood. It's pretty standard from here, so remember to keep checking, uh, like before, against the other eye and also make sure you keep opening your eye to really line it up. Also, go ahead and fill in that wedge and you'll really start to see this look coming together. You'll notice this is where I make adjustments as well. I've extended the tail more and thickened it up a little to match the other side. I always tend to err on the side of caution because remember, it's easier to increase the line than it is to decrease it. So after you're happy with the line, make sure you complete it by lining your upper waterline. I like to use the gel liner and bring it up through the roots of my lashes to really make sure that there's no skin showing. And here's where you can come in and clean up what you need to. Some people like to use concealer to do this. I'm just going to use some makeup remover on a cotton tip and drag it up under to crisp up that line. Now for the finishing touches. I'm just going to add some mascara to my bottom lashes, fill in my lower waterline with a nude liner to brighten up my eyes and then pop on a pair of falsies. Thank you. 
and the look is complete. So as usual, all products used will be listed in the down bar. Don't forget to thumbs up if you liked this and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye!